Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a crinola reset fascinator. So I'll be working with this gold crinoline. I need my airband and my trimmies for this project. So it's very simple to make. Just watch it and you'll get it. So to start, if you check this crinoline, if you check your crinoline, you see that they are always stressed pulling out on one edge of the crinoline it's not on the other edge and it doesn't really look nice so i'm going to cut them off the crinoline i'm working with is four yards so i make sure that a four yard crinoline and i'll be pulling out the thread before i start to pleat it so i'm pulling out this thread now you can see i'm going to pull it out for the entire four yards so you have to do that before you start so i'm pulling this out now you can break it if it's too long you just use your scissors to cut it in between before you start pulling okay so now i'm done pulling out the thread and both sides looks the same so i'm going to gather one hand like this together and then i'm going to tie it using a rope so I'm going to tie it. So I've tied the both edges like this. So I'm going to start pleating it now. To pleat it, I'm going to fold it into two. You can see this is it. I'll fold it into two and then I'm going to run a loose stitch on the closed part. This is the open part and this is the closed part. So I'll take my needle and thread and I'm going to do a running stitches. All through the four yards you can see how I'm doing it okay so I'm going to run my thread you can tie the beginning you know crinoline is a bit it has big holes so if you don't tie it your thread may pull out so I'm going to tie the first sewing before I continue so that it doesn't pull out my thread and then i'm going to continue my running stitches till i get to the end so you keep doing it like this till you get to the end okay so when you get to the end of the where you put your other thread you're going to pull it okay so that it can form like a reset so you pull it together like this and gather it so once you pull it you pull it very well and gather once you pull it this is one hand this is the other hand so i'm going to pass my thread remember this is my thread here i'm going to pass it on the other hand like this and then I'm going to pull it together so that it can form like a circle for me. Okay. So as you can see, I'm going to take them together like this, and then we'll have something like this. Okay. So once I have that, I'm going to pass my needle and thread around it to sew it together. I'm going to I'm going to pull it well together like this. So once they are together, I'm going to pass my needle and thread around it to secure it. And it will help me to further pull it together. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, if you have a longer needle, it will be easier for you to work with. I'm working at home, so I'm making do with what I have. I'll sew it together. And then I'll make sure you can see what I have here. I'll make sure that it's, that it's tightly in place. Then I'll take my band and then I decide where I want to place it. So once I have that place, so I'll decide if I want to place it in the middle or on the side. So once I have it, before I cut off my thread, I'm going to pass it around. So if you have been watching our tutorial zone, fascinator you know how to sew your fascinator to your airband okay 
so i have this place now and i'm going to sew it around to hold them together with my needle and thread so i'll decide where i want it to be and then you decide your placement you can either place it like this or place it in a way that it's facing outward okay so once you pass it around like this and it's firmly secured you just tie it together and cut out your thread okay and we are done you can see it's quite simple and it's very beautiful to make so you cannot decide to leave it like this or either embellish it however you want okay the this is the upper part of the crinoline fascinator so it's actually not showing anything but so you can start to leave it like this we just need to cover this part with a black fabric like we usually do or you can either embellish this however you want if you have something to embellish like i have this i can decide to put this or either put a little bit of this round my okay so i can decide to wrap this round uh, this pipe cleaners to form like a a thread okay let me just cut this and then i'm going to wrap it around to form like spirals okay so i have this pipe cleaners here i've cut it out i'm going to wrap it i'm going to wrap it around a pen like this to have it has like a like iron in between so it helps it to stay so once it stays in place i'm going to open it up a bit and then i'm going to attach it to the tip of my fascinator so this depends entirely on what you want if this is something you like and if this is too long i can actually cut this off and then put it on another side okay so i've added the pipe cleaners so i added the pipe cleaners here and i decided to place these gold balls at the middle you can see how beautiful this turned out so we have this here and we cannot leave it so i'll be using my glue to gum a piece of fabric to cover up the threads here so that it will both be neat both inside and outside okay you can see how beautiful this is looking 